Hello and welcome to the Gary Stewart Show presented by Buffalo Roberts. I'm Greg Royster of our season head men's basketball coach Gary Stewart. Coach, uh, you're up with the season about a week ago today or uh, a week ago tomorrow. Um, did a couple things, you know, done uh, the conference tournament and finish up and were able to earn the bid for the UCC for the first couple of years. So just talk about the season in general and what the program was able to accomplish. Well, it was our fifth uh, trip to uh, the Met postseason conference tournament. Uh, which is tied for the most in the league since we've been in the, in the league. So um, we've got some lofty uh, goals and aspirations, and uh, uh, some of those targets we were able to hit, uh, i.e. Uh, playing in the postseason uh, conference tournament, making it to the ECAC uh, postseason tournament. Uh, but we didn't close the season out as well as we would like, and uh, had some hard-fought contests down uh, towards the end of the season that we didn't uh, finish. Yeah. Yeah, certainly. I mean, certainly both your um, Matt Cuddle Holder and Miss Albright, and the ACC, both hard fought battles. And, um, you know, really every game you were in, I can't think of, you know, any games that you were really out of this year. Every game is a battle, you know, both both wins and losses. So it's got to be, it's certainly some coach, you know, if you were in every game, that you pulled out, were able to pull out some of those tough games. And, you know, it's something to go out and you know, next year towards the future. Yeah, I think uh, as a coach, often you get fixated on the ones you didn't get. Uh, uh, and, and you have a, a, a slow memory to the successes that you had that were one possession games. But uh, you were winning uh, with uh, 15 seconds left at home against Arcadia. If you didn't close that game out, it was, it was one that stayed with us. Uh, and even the, uh, the ECAC uh, uh, playoff game. Uh, one possession game at the end, uh, a couple of costly turnovers, and then we, uh, we were late to close to a shooter, uh, and, and those things uh, ultimately went to our detriment. Yeah. But ultimately, to, to get the program back in those types of situations, you're playing for something more than just the game of the game, you're playing for a conference championship or a postseason championship. Hopefully, you guys can take some lessons away from that and, you know, and be in a critical situation and maybe the next time. You know, you've got that experience to fall back on. Yeah, I thought we were trending uh, in the right direction. Uh, we were playing really, really good basketball in, in December, and uh, then we had an untimely injury uh, to a, a Marlin and, uh, and Liz and Sean uh, that uh, really uh, put a dent in depth. And that was one of the things we hung our hat on. Uh, and then moving forward into, into January, I think all teams have adversity, and, and we certainly had ours. Um, and uh, we just weren't able to come out of that uh, being the same as that. Uh, we, we, uh, again, it wasn't uh, the lack of trying, lack of effort. I thought our kids really fought hard and, and, and competed well. Uh, there were just some opportunities there that, uh, uh, for whatever reason, we weren't able to close games out. Uh, again, and, and, and Greg, I think when you, when you think like that, when you look back at the season, uh, you look at uh, a lot of the things that you could have uh, accomplished, the things that you think you've left on the table. But all in all, I thought we did some things uh, better than we have in the last couple of years, and looking forward to what uh, next year. Yeah, it's certainly looking forward to last year. Certainly, we lose a very talented senior class, uh, but obviously, there's a lot coming back. You know, you know talk about the freshman class, you talk about you know, the future being really brighter than it's been. Well, the important thing is we've been able to stabilize our classes, and uh, we do have some good players coming back, some guys that have started for us. Uh, we're excited about our future, and, and uh, for us, the mantra is obviously to, to compete for championships here. We, we, we think that, that opportunity will present itself uh, with the uh, proper development and, and with the recruiting. So we're excited. All right, Coach. Well, you know, it's been enjoyable. It's a very fun, enjoyable season to watch. You know, certainly a fun team to be around. And, um, you know, I'm sure we'll chat again you know, in the offseason and uh, ending next year. Thank you, Greg. All right, for Coach Gary Stewart, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Gary Stewart Show.